climate change is a big deal. It's also very complicated. Here's the simple version. Nearly all the energy we use today comes from burning fossil fuels like coal and gasoline. The smoke that comes out includes carbon dioxide, which is a type of greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases cause more heat from the sun to be trapped in the atmosphere. All this extra heat makes the planet warmer, which causes a bunch of problems. Now, if you understand that, you're in pretty good shape. But this simplification leaves a few questions unanswered, so let's get complicated. The first question is basically this. How can global warming be real if it's cold outside? It's a snowball, and that's just from outside here. So it's very, very cold out, very unseasonal. So here, Mr. President, catch this. There are two words we need to understand here, climate and weather. Weather is what you see every day. Sometimes it's warm, sometimes it's windy, sometimes there's a blizzard. Climate is about the bigger picture. There are now more warm days, shorter winters, and less ice at the North Pole. The last few years are the warmest ever measured. Things are getting hotter even if it still sometimes snows. Now I just mentioned the warmest years ever measured, but there are a lot of years we didn't measure. Isn't the climate always changing? And one of the reasons why the climate is changing is because the climate has always been changing. There has never been a time when the climate has not changed. This is true. If we zoom way out, we can see that temperatures are always fluctuating. It's even been warmer than it is now. The thing is, humans have only been around for 200,000 years, and civilization is barely 5,000 years old. Our modern lives were built around a very specific climate, and we rely on that climate never changing. What's also unique is how quickly this is happening. Life can adapt to warming over 10,000 years, but we're seeing warming over just one or two decades. The world at the end of your life will look completely different from the beginning of your life. But couldn't this all just be a coincidence? How do we know that humans are responsible? Well, I'm not a big believer in man-made climate change. It could be some impact, but I don't believe it's uh, a devastating impact. Let's lay out the facts. It is a fact that carbon dioxide traps heat. It is a fact that burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide. It's therefore undeniable that human activity will at least slightly increase the temperature, and we can already see that. But consider this, the climate is super fragile. Even small tweaks can throw off the whole system and cause huge changes. In the case of climate change, a slight increase in temperature can cause ice at the North Pole to melt. Normally, ice reflects the sun's heat and cools down the earth. Less ice means less reflection, which means things get even warmer. In Siberia, the permafrost has started to melt. This releases huge pockets of methane into the air, which is a very powerful greenhouse gas. These examples, and hundreds more, are called feedback mechanisms, and they can make climate change go from bad to way worse. Every prediction we make comes with uncertainty. But while it's possible that things will be fine, it's not very likely. All the evidence we have points to serious problems in the future. Climate change is happening right now. It may be complicated, but understanding what's going on is the first step in learning how to survive.